Good morning from the Swansea Treasure Shop. It is March 24th, Wednesday. This is a Painted Copper Tumblers booth. Just doing my routine update. Just brought in these Galaxy. Oh, these, these are getting a lot of admiration. The window display. Sorry about the lighting. It replaced the um, metal shelves that were here with um, this, uh, I think it's a plant stand. And I was hoping to get a second one for the other side of the door. And the wall pockets have been selling. And, uh, ladies, these are bells. Heavenly, heaven retired angels, I think, are those. And there's little stories. So all, um, uh, not these, but the rest on this shelf have their own boxes that they've been stored in, so they're in great shape. I love that lamp. And then there's a purse lamp back there. This kept getting knocked over by the wind, so left it here, inside. Free stuff. Box was full. Rusty Rainbows booth. Let's see, a customer bought the wig and hat that was on it last week. And then she came back and bought the hat that was on there now. So she's hatless again, but at least she's not bald. Beautiful, unusual, unique items. She had stuff all in these um, baskets, and now they look, they're more than half empty. Carol's Attic Treasures. She's all the time bringing stuff, almost daily. She lets me know when she's not going to make it, so I don't worry about her. If she doesn't show up. She's doing so well here. She just bought that uh, yesterday morning. I don't think that's going to last long here. That's upside down. It's supposed to hang. You can put your towels on it or linens. Tea towels. I know the quilter that this is meant for will buy this. 10 foot um, king size quilting frame. The tea room. Okay, at least I got floor space now. I can put the ladder. And I was in the process yesterday uh, of putting that up. So the that has to go to the wall and then over here and then here where there's no lights it should reach and all that will go up on the walls and this room will be usable again and they are replacing the overhead light going to the um counter which most of the time i, I just um do the transactions out on the floor or at the front with the register and everything's here the treasure chest of memories, picture frames, using that to kind of block so people don't go back this way, that's not for uh, customers, and my area is still a mess. Uh, did I say that we got six new vendors in the last 10 days? 
So, um, as I was getting things organized, um, all my Easter stuff is now in the basket or on a table up front. And I'm trying to use this for... When I bought this, I thought it was the size of a um, plant stand up front. And I was going to balance the two, but this is too small. So, redoing this space again for the umpteenth time, almost weekly since I've opened the shop. And now Brittany's Boutique. Really cute diaper, uh, baby shower cakes. There are 15 vendors, and 11 of them will do custom orders. So if you see something you like, but you want it different, like if you wanted this wreath, but you wanted it more of another color, or Easter eggs in it, or um, different materials, she can do that. This is getting redone today, I hope. We have pirates in Swansea. And I know this because she came in here and told me. <laughs> She's married to the captain of the pirate crew. The Charles Town Pew. Look them up. So, got some more pewter just in case she comes back. Quartz Creek Collective. She made these and brought these in, I think, since the last video. I love that apron. More of the tea party shop stuff, but if I get the vendors coming in that said that they wanted a shelf space, I'm going to lose this to find uh, room in my area. This is Sue's. She brought in a bunch of Fenton. So we got a lot of Fenton stuff now. Carnival glass. Bone dishes. And she's got all those for five dollars each down here. Gorgeous stuff too. I try to get all the um, Alcohol, wine, whiskey, shot glasses, beer glasses, onto this shelf unit. Coca-Cola glasses, too. These um, Keurig spinners are perfect for shot glasses. And then here's the beer glasses. And some additional things I'm finagling around trying to keep the glare off it's coming in through the windows but here's the jewelry section I've got I got boxes of jewelry I've not been able to open up and price and get out uh, hard to see the cast iron and the um, steak plates this is Carmen's that was loaded with jewelry so now it's pretty um, empty looking. CNC wood toys. There are airplanes and two size helicopters. I'm surprised that hadn't sold. That gets a lot of compliments. Already sold one of these. And the flatbed, these will fit on to the flatbed of it. And all the wheels on those rotate, turn as you pull it. And it's price. And yeah, seriously. Look, look up any um, handmade, U.S. handmade 
uh, wood trains. This is um, Treasure Turtles shelf unit. These are all new since the last video. It's a mailbox, a wooden mailbox he found. This it needs to be velvet. Sad. And our last vendor, Gary. There's a lot of talented people. And of course he can custom order um you can custom order pieces he's showing or something else if you show him what um get a photo of what you're wanting. And I asked him to bring in some small pieces. But he made the podium for here. Folding uh, tilt top table. And uh, I'm going to bring some lamps in. So, and I need to remove all my stuff below. <laughs> so this is where all the Easter stuff was. And we have the little seating arrangement out here. That's Phyllis Dillard, a tree face. We've got this beautiful wreath on the door. Custom made by one of our vendors. The bench. Unicorn. Charlie the pig. Birdhouse. And I've started utilizing the upper spaces. That's this week's update, and more changes are coming. It's a constant, if you're in the area, drop on by. There's constant stuff um, coming in, going out. Some people just come and hang out with me, too. Which is, I'm getting to know the customers and uh, becoming friends with several of them. And the lights, first thing. Thanks for joining me. Be a blessing and be blessed.